Okay, Department 2 naman tayo, Cost of Production Report. So, Department number 2, First step, Quantity Schedule. So, Quantity Schedule then Actual Units. Okay. Units received. Mag-start tayo sa units received. Remember, 40,000 yung natapos ng Department 1. Magpupunta na yan sa Department 2. So, ito yung marireceive na quantity ni Department number 2. 40,000. Saan napunta itong 40,000 na ito? Sa 40,000, yung 36,000 dyan is naging completed and transferred to next department which is 36,000 units and yung 4,000 daw yun yung naiwan sa department 2 as in process and so total 40,000 units next Step 2, calculate EUP and unit cost. So, EUP ulit, uh, materials muna, then work done at yung EUP. Ang sabi sa department number 2, in department number 2, materials are added at the end of the process. At the end of the process, in that. completed and transferred 100% na yan. Complete as to materials. 36 times 100%, 36,000 units. How about in process end? Okay, remember, materials are added at the end of the process. Meaning, Sa end of the process lang ilalagay yung material. So, since ito ay in process pa, hindi pa nito nare-reach yung end of production process. So, 0% yung work done nito as to materials. EUP is 0. Total EUP for materials is 36,000 units. Then, um, conversion cost conversion cost we have work done then EUP completed and transferred 100% na yung complete as to conversion cost 36,000 units how about sa conversion cost ng in process and remember 50% pa lang kompleto yung uh, Units and ng department number 2. So, 50% pa lang yung kompleto as to conversion cost. 4,000 times 50%, that is 2,000 units. 38,000 for conversion cost, EUP. So, may EUP na tayo. Next, unit cost. Okay, continuation ng step number 2. Compute unit cost. Okay. Kukumpitan natin yung um, cost charge to the department. This time, department 2. Okay. Merong na-receive na units. C department 2 from department number 1 which is kargado rin to ng cost from department 1 so the receive niya chinarge sa kanya so cost from uh, preceding department yung 40,000 na to Ano yung cost nan from preceding department? 
So, na-complete na natin yan nung gumawa tayo ng cost of production report ng Department 1. That is 360,000 pesos. Then, saka natin ipapasok yung um, cost added in the department. Cost added in the um, department. Ano-ano yun? Materials. 108,000 labor 76 and overhead 38,000 Total added Cost in the department number 2 is 108 plus 76 plus 38 That is 222,000 Pesos Okay Unit cost Unit cost ng preceding department or yung unit cost ng cost from preceding department ay nakumpit na natin to sa department number 1. 9. 9. How about 108 for materials divided by 36,000 units. That is 3. 76 labor divided by 38,000 units. That is 2. And overhead 38,000 divided by 38,000 piso. Total added, 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is 6 pesos. Next, step 3, determine the, total, determine the cost to be accounted for. <coughs> determine that cost to be accounted for. So, sa number 3, uh, total cost to be accounted for how much how much 36 ah, sorry 360 plus 222,000 that is 582,000 pesos remember meron ng cost to pang preceding department ha kasi nasa department 2 na tayo kanina yung department 1 walang ganito kasi yun yung very first department And unit cost 9 plus 6, 15. Ayan. Ito ngayon yung aalamin natin. Saan napunta itong 582,000 pesos na ito? Anong cost dyan yung napunta sa completed and transferred and alin dyan yung napunta sa in process and Okay. Done with step 3. Next step, accounts for all costs. Account for all costs. Okay. Step 4. So, malalaman na natin, saan ba napunta itong 582,000 na to? Saan siya napunta? Okay. Number 4. Account. Uh, for all, uh, sorry, account for all costs. So, so number four, uh, step four, uh, cost accounted for as follows. Ayan. Okay. Completed and transferred. Completed and transferred. Uh, 
how much kaya yun? That is 36,000 units times Siyempre yung unit cost na 15 kasi kompleto na yan eh. 36,000 units times 15 That is 540,000 pesos Next, yung in-process end Okay Remember, tayo ngayon ay nasa department number 2 So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng cost ng products na involved sa department 2 Is kargado ng cost ng products from department number 1 So, yung in-process end Kargado ito ng cost of um, production cost na na-incur ni department number 1. So, cost from preceding department. Since kargado siya ng cost from department 1, kailangan natin i-consider yung cost from preceding department. Ilan ba ang units in process? 4,000 Times Ilan yung Unit cost from preceding department 9 4,000 times 9 That is 36,000 Pesos Then sa kapapasok yung materials From department number 2 EUP Ng work in process end Ano? In process end for materials Zero Times Three Zero And remember, materials are added at the end of the process So wala talagang materials na Involved sa mga in-process end natin Kasi nga at the end of At the end of process siya Inalagay Labor Labor, EUP ng labor in process N, 2,000. 2,000 times 2. That is 4,000. And overhead, 2,000 times piso. That is 2,000 pesos. Total cost ng in process N, department 2, is 36 plus 4 plus 2. That is 42,000 pesos. Total cost accounted for Total cost accounted for is 582,000 pesos Which is equal sa cost um, To be accounted for Ibig sabihin sa 582,000 na yan 540 yung naging completed and transferred and 42,000 yung naiwan sa work in process and and kung gusto nyo makakita ng solution in good form or cost of production in good form for department number 2 again, ito yung solution and ito yung solution talaga in good form ito uh, Ayan. Ito yung cost of production report for department number 2.